Hi guys, how's it going? It's Brett again. Uh, it's nice to see you. So today we, we're getting straight into it. We're going to be looking at Joomla 5. Uh, I know there's a lot of other videos that are still coming and they will come out in time. But part of the reason we haven't really been making a lot of Joomla videos is because of this new version. So I thought it's probably a really good idea to start out by maybe going over, uh, taking a look at what's new. We're pretty much just going to run through the dashboard, see if we can see what's new, do a few comparisons between Joomla 3, Joomla 4, and Joomla 5. Uh, before we get started, obviously, if you guys come over here, you can see this is my website. I've got a timeline and everything written down here for Joomla. It's got a bunch of good information in there, so please check that out. I'll put the link down in my description, and don't forget, any news relating to Joomla or anything, you'll be able to find on my latest news on my website, just under the latest news filter Joomla. So I always post stuff here that's relevant, um, things that you need to know about Joomla, and basically, yeah, just, just Joomla stuff. Um, there's a whole lot of other stuff that can help your website and a whole lot of other things, so yeah, check it out when you get the chance. So essentially, Joomla made a statement oh, not too long ago, I can't remember the exact date, probably around about the March, kind of, or January to March. So they announced that they were pretty much done with Joomla 4, and, well not done, but you know, they're, go they're going to be moving on to the next thing. The main reason that they really chose to develop Joomla 5 is really just to keep up with the la changing landscapes of um, the web. I mean, we've got new technology coming out left, right, and center. Obviously, everybody's aware that AI, yeah, it's here, it's here to stay, it's really kind of freaky. But so, in order for Joomla to still kind of be relevant and still have a place in the web development market, they needed to really push it forward and kind of think about upgrading, start using newer versions of PHP, Bootstrap, and everything like that. Of course, one of the biggest fears, obviously, with this whole thing is that, well, your website may break again or you may have to pay thousands of dollars to get it updated, but hopefully not. I'm assuming this um, update is going to be a lot more like the kind of WordPress 5 to 6, um, if anybody uses WordPress and was around for that. So that was pretty seamless, and I'm hoping this is as well, but I know there's a whole lot of new changes and things. So obviously, if you have custom templates and they're built, using certain libraries maybe they won't work maybe your php is going to cause some deprecation errors so that that's joomla for you so obviously as you can see here joomla doesn't actually yet have their joomla 5 advertised to people because joomla 5 isn't actually technically released it's planned for re releasing around october but that is i guess only if they can actually get it finished in time because joomla 4 did take a while to kind of get right so um yeah you can't really download it here however over here on github they do have the alpha versions ready for release so the alpha version is basically something that developers can use they can use it for testing you know just trying and that's basically what i'm going to do today i'm going to break it down for you we're going to go into it i'm going to run through the install pretty much we're just going to have a quick look at the dashboard i'm going to do some comparisons between joomla 3 4 kind of see what we're dealing with i think the file structure and everything should be fairly similar i will take a look and we can kind of make a note on that as you can see here i've already got joomla 3 installed here joomla 4 installed here and now we have joomla 5 so we're just going to run through and pretty much try the installer <laughs> All right, so the installation seems to have gone well, and we will go to the admin panel. Great. Uh, hmm. Well, that's it. Uh, that is Joomla 5 for you. Uh, please follow, like, subscribe. That is fixed now. Uh, sorry about that. Literally don't know what happened. But anyway, so we've got it up and running here. And, well, to my shock, I didn't actually expect to see the... Don't know if I've said that right, but the Cassia Theopeam. Cassiothea, you know what, um, I give up, I don't know the name. It's the same as the Joomla 4 one, so I guess it's familiar, which means hypothetically it should just, I guess, copy across. Maybe. Um, well, well, we'll take a look and see what else we can find. We're here back in the dashboard. This all looks pretty similar. I don't know what these blocks are, though. Uh, just to put it into perspective, if we go here... The icons have had a bit of an update, haven't they? 
So the component puzzle blocks got a bit bigger. The users have kind of changed their icon and our little four squares have turned into more of like a grid. Uh, overall, the dashboard seems to be, this is on Joomla 4, seems to have a lot more stuff um, that could change, but it seems like this one's fairly empty at the moment. Maybe it's designed as a way where you can implement um, a lot more, I guess, as you go. Oh, wait, cPanel view. Okay, maybe we are in, I oh don't know, seems to be pretty much the standard, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at your content, articles, nothing really different by the looks of it. Yeah, realistically, all we're really seeing between these is just changes of icons first. Uh, it doesn't seem to be anything um, too noticeable. You can see, obviously, there's just been some little styling fixes. Corners have gone from square to rounded, which is kind of newer these days. Often people go for the softer dashboard looking kind of feel, although sadly it doesn't really, it's a bit inconsistent, I would say, amongst um, everything else. I'll basically go across and create a whole lot of pages and we'll, I'll, I'll let you guys know when I find something different and we can take a kind of look and dive into it a bit more. Again, here we've only really found different icons. Look, I can, I can appreciate there's probably a lot under the hood that's changed, but so far dashboard wise, it's not really anything new, um, which I suppose for the point of views of users is gonna be really good because man, we've just, I think a lot of users, they can't take the change. I mean, a lot of older businesses which use Joomla because it was a lot more popular um, probably 10 years ago, but now most people are on WordPress, so you kind of want that familiar sidebar layout, and I don't really know what you could have done to change it any more than it is, but yeah, I mean, so far, I'm not unimpressed, I'm just, it's just icons. All right, let's see what else we can find. Yeah, again, looking through all the control panel, I haven't really come across anything overly different again. Um, I know that part of the new Joomla 5 was obviously a more SEO first approach. So I do believe that somewhere um, in here, we're bound to find the, again, I can't say it, but schema markup. Um, I've noticed, um, doesn't mean I can tell you what, but there are a few new plugins added. Obviously, we can see here in the old Joomla 3 where we start with about 231. Now, obviously, a lot of these are things like your template, your content manager, everything else that kind of makes Joomla what it is. Um, but over here, we have close to 240. We have some new plugins. The question is, what are they? Here we go. It looks like they are all schema schema markup. It looks like the majority of the changes so far on Joomla, Joomla 5 happen to just be these um, schema markup, which I mean, is good. It's, if you know anything about schema data, it's pretty much the data that helps Google like identify your site. It helps it kind of know your service locations, your business name, your details. Um, okay, I was having trouble finding some schema data sorry if i'm saying that wrong i do apologize kiwi accent and all um but yeah i was finding some or having some trouble finding it so honestly i just i've just gone to the the actual website to kind of explain it to you um so if we look for say an organized oh actually let's, let's go for a local business most people have a local business and most websites should have the local business data now if we scroll right down to the bottom we're going to get a few examples of what you know, structured data may look like. And this is things where you have like your business hours categories, things like that. And there's certain tags in here that show Google basically what 
what to do or else you can use these JSON scripts and everything. And they kind of appear through a testing tool as, as such. I guess Joomla putting a good focus on this is going to be a real positive for any future websites doing anything with SEO. I mean, yeah, off the bat, I can only really see plugins that are using it. There doesn't seem to be any type of component, anything like that. So all we can really do is actually go in here and check out our plugin. So we got it for recipes, job postings, organizations, events. Oh, events is good. All right, now I think just quickly as well to have a look at the file structure between both the Joomla and Joomla 3. Oh, Joomla 4, sorry. Overall, this looks exactly the same. You've got your administrator panel, your components, your modules, plugins, templates, all still there. There's nothing really new in templates. You've both got the same theme. It doesn't look to be, well, basically anything that's been changed in there. Um, file size wise, okay, there's, there's probably a few things which have been added to the errors, the index. Oh, the template details that is almost doubled inside size so that could probably indicate um, some changes all right just put them on the right side so we're at Joomla 4 here Joomla 5 And it looks like we've got a big, realistically just looks like font translations. So it looks like they've added the ability to maybe select a few more fonts. Templates are basically the same. Let's check out our components. Yeah, not gonna lie, you, you've got the exact same amount of components, so nothing seems to be overly different in there. I'm sure, as, as I'm saying, there is always gonna be some underlying differences i'm not going to deep dive too much into them because honestly i haven't even had a good enough chance to look at them myself so i really just want to see if there's anything noticeable that's different plugins again it looks like the machine schema schema somebody needs to make an easier word it looks like that's the only one that's really been added that's good that's good that's it you know what okay now real talk i'm actually kind of happy about this because what we have dealt with in the Joomla 3 to Joomla 4 thing has been really, really painful. Kind of makes you want to cry, especially if you're a K2 user. I'm so sorry. I mean, man, K2. just mm. The content article system in Joomla is, sh you know, it's, it's good, but it's also really bad. Um, I think the way they access fields and the, the way it's been coded is, been a bit backwards it's not really ideal but it works uh, i i would be it would be better if it worked more like acf you know wordpress because overall joomla is like a great system to develop on it's all built on the mvc framework so it actually makes developing and debu debugging code and creating custom modules and components really easy and you can pretty much just create them plug them anywhere on your site it's got the user management systems like phenomenal you know it's not bad it's not bad that's what we're saying but i think i'm just going to end that video there i know this has been a bit of a strange one i'm, I'm not real. i haven't really planned this we're just kind of going through seeing what we got but do remember if you guys need any help with joomla if you need any help with anything uh it doesn't matter whether you're a company a person just leave a comment down in the description or you can email me directly i will have my uh, Revive digital website in the description of this video and it is also available on my don't forget to subscribe because I really want to create more videos I've been struggling with time at the moment I do plan to create more anything you need just comment down below the videos that you guys want to see um, we are going to be doing a bunch of AI business tools and other type videos as well so it should be really exciting so yeah if you follow along uh, subscribe to the channel and yeah hopefully subscribe thanks for watching if you made it this far through you are a true og and yeah i appreciate everybody who watches and yeah hope you guys have a great day i will see you again in the next video